Hello, hello, all you fashionistas out there, and welcome to Israel in Style, where every week we travel around Israel looking for the top Israeli designers to bring you guys the most amazing collections. So as customers, we are used to walking into a store, finding something that we love, purchasing it, and looking head to toe fabulous. But this week on Israel in Style, I decided I wanted to discover what the process is like for our talented Israeli designers. Where do they get their fabrics and how do they begin designing? So I met up with designer Rachel Zohar to get the full rundown. Hi! Hello. So we're here on the Halat Ben Yamin, Racheli. Yeah. What are we doing? Okay, okay. The, today, in Khlad Ben Yamin, Tel Aviv, we're going to see all the stores where all the fashion designers, the independent ones, right. the big ones, the small ones, Everyone. buy the fabrics, all the materials to make a clothes. Amazing! Yeah, yeah, we have here all the stores. We'll see big ones, small ones, we'll see all kind of... Uh, Different materials. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be walking up and down Khlad Ben Yamin today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so gonna... let's go check out our first one. Let's, let's do go. it. Come. So, we're here right now at Kadena on Nacharat Ben Yamin. We see all these materials, all these fabrics. Tell me a little bit about the fabrics. Who comes in here? Who is the main client? Okay. Now we can see this side. We can see the um, brocade fabric. It's a fabric that usually we use to make uh, dresses, skirts, suits. And we can see lots of kind of uh, fabrics. We can see uh, Chanel fabrics, Ooh. we can see chiffon fabrics, we can see many laces with uh, beads and uh, sequins. sequins. Uh, we can find uh, simple fabrics but also very expensive ones. Right, like high quality fabrics. Yeah, uh, there are fabrics that uh, designers sell us like uh, Louis Vuitton. Wow. They sell fabrics and uh, Dolce Gabbana and uh, we can Roberto find Cavalli. Yeah, Roberto Cavalli, Elisab, lots of fabrics. Uh, it's really like those kinds of fabrics. Okay, so why don't we go around the store, find a piece of fabric that we fall in love with, and let's make it uh, yes. something for you let's to wear. Let's make something fabulous for me. Let's do it. <laughs> So we decided on this one over here. Okay, you have a good for. taste, darling. Okay, tell us, open this up for us. Tell us how many are here, how many meters we can get from this. Okay. What do you see with this one? Wow, what do you Emmanuel, see? I can see what I'm gonna make for you. You have a good taste. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna make from, from this fabric an overall. An overall? Yeah, wow. back open. Like a jumper? Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, let's measure it. To die for. So, what are we looking at over here? Okay, Manel, this department, it's the more uh, exclusive department, more expensive uh, okay. fabrics, more for evening wear. We can see lace with uh, sequences and uh, beaded right. uh, from many labels that we okay. know. A lot many, of brands. Yeah, brands because designers make their own uh, uh, laces and okay. they like to uh, sell it. So if you want to make a very exclusive, exclusive yeah. beautiful, uh, handmade uh, evening, uh, wear. evening wear, you can buy it here with those kind of materials. You can Amazing. Yeah. So let's go check out another fabric store down on Nechalat Benjamin. Okay. Let's do it. Where are we right now? I'm really in the mood for a wedding. Okay, Emmanuel, we are here in Gantel Didier. Okay. It's one of the first uh, fabric store in Israel. It was established already in Lebanon okay. by a family in, uh, one, uh, in 1937. Wow, yeah, it's old school. Old school. It's a family business uh, going through from grandfather to son and his sisters that are running it here in Israel. It was opened in Israel uh, in 1970. One okay, and there is no bride in Israel that can get married without stopping here, 
than Tel de Dieu. For their fabrics. So yeah. every designer, every bride stops here, whether it's for a little piece of fabric, just an addition, or the whole dress itself. Yeah, yeah. All the materials, if you want to get married, all the materials, you can find it here. So we're standing here in front of all of these fabulous and exclusive hot couture fabrics. How I come in here, I'm a bride, where do you start? Okay, you start with a dream. Okay. Each girl, each woman starts when she was young, she was dreaming how she will look on her wedding day. Right. So you start with a dream, you know how you want to look, you try to describe it to your uh, fashion designer, and then uh, you start to choose the fabrics that uh, match to the dream. Okay, so somebody comes in here and she has clearly a dream, because every little girl does. I want a big, puffy dress, or you want... I personally want an open back lace dress, like really sexy, very slimming, very nice. So let's just go through some of the materials and see what we find. Okay, let's, let's go. do it. Okay, so well, we have a few more stops to go. Yeah. So let's go check out a few more stores. Okay. Now we are in Gloria's store. It's also a family store, family business. Uh, was founded by the father of the owner. Uh, okay, of, of the, the now owner. Yeah, father of Kobe. And uh, this is a more trendy store, which means all the last looks that all the big designers bring to the fashion shows in Milano yeah. and in, uh, in Paris, in, uh, Paris New, York. New York, you can find the fabrics here one, two weeks after the show. Wow. So it's like so online. It's super on trend. Like yeah, they yeah. have all the fabrics that are going right off the runway. You can come and you could get them here. Yeah. Design your own style. They also have brand, brand fabrics here. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know, if you don't know who it is, if you don't know who it is, then you're yeah. on the wrong show. Yeah. <laughs> so I see a lot of like bridal fabrics. Also, we have a lot of white. We have evening wear, so you can kind of see like a, a really wide range of different fabrics for different types of designs. Right. We can find here fabrics that are more for evening wear. Right. Or you can make it a uh, day wear. Day wear, yeah. And uh, it's very. Uh, it's very exclusive, very uh, expensive kind of look. It's right from the runway to the store. You can come with a picture of a runway uh, uh, Outfit, dress yeah. and you can find the same fabric here in this store. Let's go meet the owner. We're standing here with one of the owners, Elian of Gloria. Hi, Hi. how are you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so tell us, where are some of your materials coming from? Where do you guys import them? Um, we import from uh, quite a few places. Uh, if they're handmade, then they might come from India, from Spain. Uh, we have French laces. Most of the laces come from France. And some uh, lighter embroideries can come from China, it depends. And what kind of customers do you see come in here? Do you see brides? Do you see women who are trying to do evening wear? Uh, both. We mostly do designers. Okay. Our main uh, clientele is our designers, and we have brides who are trying to copy some of the designers. Exactly. <laughs> and of course, mother of the bride, mother of the groom. Are there, what kind of Israeli designers have you seen? What are some hot designers that? Um, major designers we work with. Raquel. Our favorite. <laughs> Our favorite. Yes. And we work with uh, In Baldron. Okay. Berta. Wow. Yaki Ravid. We've met Gerda. Berta. Everybody remembers Berta. She's Amazing. A yes. She's a and um, Geva. Do you guys have some top fabrics that are, you know, your best sellers or top fabrics here? Yes. We have many special embroideries that are done per the customer's demand. Okay. So we do that and wow. uh, the beading. The I beading. I think we're the leading uh, suppliers in the beading uh, fabrics and the beaded fabrics. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you. Now we are standing in Venus store. Venus store, it's a never ending story. <laughs> Whenever you come, it's full of people. Whenever they can, they grab it. Uh, you can arrange the store 10 times a day. It will be a mess. Yeah. It will still be a mess because people are all the time just taking fabric. Grabbing, trying things yeah. on, figuring yeah. out what they can build with it. Yeah, you can get the fabric in the morning and then in the afternoon it's 
finished. You Gone. Know? Yeah. Disappeared. So yeah. let's go find a fabric before everybody takes everything and see if we can build something. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. it. So here are some of the fabrics. These are really all handmade and super delicate. I don't think you guys can realize it's like really, really delicate. It's all handmade. All handmade hot couture. This is beautiful. So Julia, do you have something special for me? Yes. Something that I can yes. make a show? Yes. Oh, this is this. beautiful. Wow, okay. wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow, that's a show. If yeah. you're wearing that, that's a full-on show. Okay. What do you want to call? Some kind of some powder. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This color. Okay. I think I got it. I think we found it. I think I got it. <laughs> okay. So, what are we making from this? I'm gonna be your twin. I'm gonna make an overall. So I'm gonna have the black overall from the other one. You're and gonna I have this pink one. Yeah. This is stunning. Yeah. We got our look. We got our fabrics, people. <laughs> I this is what a long heel. day looks like. This I is what a long day looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the day. Yes, they, they that's the wrap, people. <laughs> so now we know the starting point for every designer here in the Holy Land, but my question is, what's the next step? Where and what do you do after you found your perfect fabric? Let's take a look at our visit to Rachel Zohar's studios, where she goes step by step. Okay, so we went to check out where you could get all your fabrics and materials at Nechalat Benjamin, and now we are here at Rachel Zoal's studio and home to see what we're gonna do with them. Let's check it out. Hello, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Fine, thank you. Here is the studio. As you can see, Salomon is the main thing in the studio. Without him, we cannot do nothing. Uh, Salomon is the main designer in Raquel Zoa studio. So we found the uh, material that you wanted. You remember in Nachlad Ben Yamin? Yes, the stunning fabric. Amazing fabric. Uh, we decided with your height and your body to make an overall, full body overall. So we will cut this fabric, we have uh, Salomon make the sketches, as you can see. Uh, we know how the overall will look. We want an overall that is long enough until the uh, floor. Okay. I want it to uh, go over the, the shoes. I don't want to see the shoes because I want it to be very elegant. And uh, the back, we're gonna make it open. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And so then when we make this, the sketch, yes. uh, I take the measurement, I make the pattern, and then it's going to look like... <laughs> somewhat like this. Somewhat like this. As you can see, we almost finished the overall. Okay. Uh, the fabric is sink through, so we needed to put a line. Uh, we decided to put a one, white one so we can see all the shapes on this fabric. We added also a bit of Swarovski okay. to make it a little bit more elegant for the evening. Amazing. So you're going to be and the stunning. Back is open completely. This is amazing. Let's go try this on. Let's go. Hey, hello. Okay, so Emmanuel, now Salomon will do the final tuning on the fabric. Amazing on you. Stunning. Yeah, we'll do the finish down and then you are ready. We'll show off the back a little bit. Yeah. Rachel, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Thank you so much. So we know what I'm going to be wearing. What are you going to be wearing? I'm going to be matching to you, darling. Matching. Yeah, I'm going to try my best to look <laughs> as, as good as you. It will be hard. No. We bought another fabric. Right. Clad like Benjamin. Yeah. A pink one. Pink sequence one. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to show it to Salomon and he will make a... Magic. A magic with it. Magic. Hopefully. I will be ready for the show. Yes. Yeah. Okay, 
So we have Rachel Zoar here in the studio with us. Thank you so much for being Hello. with us. And for those of you who haven't noticed yet, I'm wearing the actual jumpsuit that she designed personally for me. Thank you so much. It is perfect. You know me too well. So tell everyone what you are wearing. Okay, I wear a full body overall, pudra color, yeah. with stones all over it. <laughs> yeah. So as you can understand, I am ready to go to party. Yeah, you're ready to leave this interview and get going. Yeah. So why don't you help me introduce our next item. You were there. You saw the Mariah. What was it like? Wow, it was so moving, this idea with taking the stones from uh, this archaeologist uh, place and to use them for uh, jewelry. Right. You know that feeling when you're on vacation and you just never want to leave? You feel like you could stay in that one place forever? Well, that's a bit unrealistic. But this next family decided that if you can't stay in Jerusalem forever, why not take a piece home with you? Let's meet the incredible family who created the Mariah Collection. Many of you guys out there have yet to visit the Holy Land, and more importantly, the old city of Jerusalem. We came here today to meet a family that designed a line of jewelry that allows you to bring a piece of Jerusalem back home with you, wherever that might be. Let's go meet them. We're sitting right now with the third generation of the Israel Diamond Center with Nathaniel and Yael. Hello guys, Hi. how are you? Good, we're thank good. you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. We are here talking about your Mariah collection, one out of many collections that you guys have here at the IDC. So tell me, what exactly is the Mariah collection? Um, okay, <laughs> yeah. the Mariah collection um, is a very unique jewelry um, brand that we started here in the IDC, the Israel Diamond Center. Um, it's unique because it contains three elements from the creation of the world. The first of all, it's what we do in our everyday life here in, uh, in IDC, <laughs> the, the diamonds. We have diamonds, you can see here, diamonds, three elements. The diamonds that were in the birth of the, the world, the creation of the world, we know that. Right. The gold and of course the Jerusalem stone. And not just the Jerusalem stone, from the holiest place on earth, the Temple Mount. Wow. So we combine these three elements into an exclusive and unique jewelry. First in the world, I think, attempted such a thing. Wow. This yeah. is actually the reason why we call this collection Moriah, because Moriah is the name of the Temple Mount. So you guys are giving people kind of the option of of bringing back something from Jerusalem exactly. to their house. Exactly. This is the whole idea, the ability of each and every one of us to take a piece of Jerusalem and keep it with him. It's like a link to the holiest place in the world. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of um, American Jews or people who feel really connected to Israel itself and Jerusalem exactly. in particular, exactly. who kind of feel a little like they're missing something when they go back to the States or wherever that they're from. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel people react when they come to to come purchase a variety? People are, are getting very emotional about it. Uh, we have we had people that really cried right. when they saw this this collection because it really it touches it touches everyone who who relates to Jerusalem. It's something that each and everyone who appreciates Jerusalem, so they know how to appreciate this piece because um, it's exactly they they take a piece of Jerusalem. Every every day, every hour, with them all the time. <laughs> so, how does exact? How did it work? How did it get started? Uh, how are you guys finding the stones, and how are you yeah. making it creative and, and unique to your to your company? Okay, so actually, it started with uh, our father' vision. Um, he always, you know, worked with jewelries and diamonds, and in the end, he wanted something more, something spiritual. So, about ten years ago, when he was 15. praying. 15 years yeah. ago? 15 years, yeah, okay. He was praying uh, and then he thought, I, I have to do something with Jerusalem. You know, he walked in Jerusalem and he thought, I have to do something unique with my work with jewelry and diamonds and Jerusalem. And then, like you know, a miracle, he saw the Temple Mount Sifting Project that takes place these days in Jerusalem in a place called Emek Tzurim. Okay. Um, and then he saw the project and he thought, this is it, you know, here I can combine 
with these holy stones from the Temple Mount and to combine them and put them into jewelries. It was very difficult in the beginning because, you know, it's actually its first time attempted. Right. You know? And we have a patent on it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a, so it's exclusively yeah. to you guys. Yeah. We are the only one who has also the permission to take these stones from the project. It's archaeological project that we take the stones from. And it, in the end, it's also good for the project because from each buyer, right. we um, donate to the project. In this way, the wow. project can continue. Yeah. This stone has over 3,000 years of history. Of history. Wow, I have and if, if the stone could talk, so <laughs> wow. it would tell like more than 3,000 years of history. And our message is also not only, it's not only for Jews, or for, it's of for course. all mankind. Because of course. Jerusalem is sacred for three more, religions. From th three monotheistic religions. Yeah. Biggest religious for the Christianity, Judaism, and Muslim people. Right. You know? So these stones, and we have buyers from all the range of. Of, you of know, course. From China to the United States to Europe, anyone, you know, can relate to the holy city of God. Each piece of jewelry is around the number seven. And the, the smallest pieces, uh, we sell 777 pieces. The number seven is the number of creation. And um, it repeats many times in the Bible and in our lives. For example, seven continents, seven um, gates notes, of seven gates of Jerusalem, seven musical notes. Uh, the seventh day is the holiest day. Each piece is uh, a limited edition, of course, and numbered. And um, behind the piece, you can see the number. Like, you're the first piece of 777 wow. pieces. That must be so exciting to get right. the first one. Yeah. Some people have, like, lucky numbers. So right. they want, I want to I wanna get number 18, seven of yeah. 777. Wow. And the bigger pieces, more expensive one, we have 77 pieces. The most expensive pieces are seven. Only seven pieces of them. And one of a kind. Yeah. yeah. This is the Rimon, for example, the pomegranate. The pomegranate, yeah. Yeah, this is one of a kind, you know. So this is one out of, so this is seven out of seven. One, one out of one. You know? <laughs> this is crazy. Actually, my dad is a seventh Jerusalem generation. He so. was born in Jerusalem and uh, his whole family, and he, ho he always laughs about that he was exiled from Jerusalem. From Jerusalem to Tel Aviv. So, so for, to Tel Aviv, that's yeah. funny. So my parents also, born and raised in Jerusalem, yeah. grew up in Jerusalem, and I actually, uh, I grew up in the States, but I was born in, in Jerusalem. My mom was in labor in Tel Aviv, she was like, in the car, she goes to my dad, I will not let my child not be born in Jerusalem. So, so, so she drove all the way to Jerusalem? She drove oh my all God. the way to Jerusalem. Yeah. Oh my in God. labor, she was like, I'm gonna have the baby in, wow. in Jerusalem. And ever since then, you know, growing up, you're like, why, why was it that important? What's the big deal? It's Jerusalem. Wow. And then I would tell people in the States that I was born in Jerusalem, not in Israel, in Jerusalem. And they would all look at me like, wow, that's so amazing. So it's like sitting here, I get so emotional. Okay, your mom is amazing. Yeah, my mom is amazing. Your mom is amazing. amazing. She's, she, she's, she's, she's knew got what she, guts. She, yes, <laughs> she has guts. That's an understatement. Um, <laughs> she knew what she wanted and she knew that it would be very monumental and very important in wow. my life. On the 7th, on the 7th of March in Jerusalem. So, beautiful. if we're not connected, I don't know what is. Wow, beautiful story. <laughs> So thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you for coming. Everyone, come to the Holy Land and take a piece back with you. Thank you. That story just like absolutely killed me. Um, but anyway, I ended up taking a piece of Jerusalem home with me. You were actually in Jerusalem where the stones are discovered and kind of found. So you had your own little experience there. Yeah, yeah. And Emmanuel, I want to say that each one of you that want to purchase one of these jewelries, you can purchase it in uh, the on website. our website, yeah. on ILTV.tv slash Israel in Style. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. I swear I feel like it goes go by so fast, but 
until next time, people, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank, thank you guys for tuning in. And have a fabulous, fabulous. and stylish week.